Hey, how's it going? And today I just want to show you how to use the text renderer to put display text pretty much anywhere and everywhere you want in an Unreal Engine scene. So to do this, we're just going to go into games. We're going to create a blank project, no starter content, and I'll just call this text renderer. I've had to do this a couple times because I made some missteps and you would think it'd be a pretty straightforward thing, but it's very easy just to forget one or two things. And when I'm creating a blank project like this, there's a couple extra steps that you wouldn't necessarily have in the first person template. So like for instance, there's no player start in here, so we're gonna have to put one in. So I'll put in player and just drag it onto the scene here. Now, as I do, I haven't let go of my left mouse button yet. You see that blue arrow? It's pointing to the left, but I want it pointing straight ahead. So as soon as I let go of this, you can't really see it. The other arrows get in the way, but I know it needs to be 90 degrees. So I type in 90 and now it's pointing straight ahead. And then I might just lift it just a, a hair off the ground, like right about there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to go ahead and quickly add to the project by clicking this plus sign. And I'm just going to get a cube and add that to the scene. Just so that I have a frame of reference. So if I hit play, that just gives me a nice frame of reference. So I might just scoot it over just a little bit and center it. Maybe push it down just a hair. Now to actually create this text renderer, it's not that difficult. It's just little tiny things you don't want to forget. And it's so interesting because I think of Unreal Engine as like it's like a toy electronics game or something. And they give you all the components, but it's nothing's hooked up. So you have to hook everything up. So even though a lot of the code's already written and everything's already kind of pre-built, you've got to come in and put it all together. I'm going to right click here and go to blueprint class and then come down here to all classes and type in the text render and it's right here it's a text render actor and we'll go select and i'm just going to rename this text renderer because that's what it is and then i'm just going to double click it take me into it now it came with the viewport disconnected i'm going to just close that and just drag that up there and dock it now I lost my viewport, so to get it back, I'm going to have to go into window, viewport. Yeah, so I don't know why that went off like that, but anyway, this, I want this down here with everything else, so there we go. So your screen should look something like this. Your viewport's probably over here on the left. It's jumping around on me a lot today for some reason. So here in the viewport, you can see it's already wired up for everything. You know, they've got, it's actually based on a sprite component and you got this and all this and because it's a 2D image. And here we can change the color of it if we want. So let's say I want to make it more red or orange, something like that. Just go OK. And you can play around with all these settings later. All we have to do is really go into the event graph right now. And we want this to start as soon as we start the game. So I'm going to drag off of here and just type in set text render right there, that one. And it comes with the variable already loaded on it. And all we have to do is have a value to input into it. So we're going to come over to variables and click. I'm going to name this text input. And we want it as a text variable, so we would set it to text. Then I can just drag this onto the screen and go get text and plug that in. And it tells you right over here, please compile the blueprint, so that's what we'll do. And save. And now I can just enter some default text like your text here. And I can compile and save that. And the most important thing is where it says instance editable. Not editable like to eat, but <laughs> editable as in we can change it in the details panel. We'll compile and save that. Okay. And that's all we have to do. That's why I say, you know, just it's just like hooking up the wires. Everything's done. It's just hooking up some of it. Okay, so it's all down here, and you can think of a class as kind of like the master template. And as we drag or create copies, we drag it onto the scene or create copies, we're creating copies from the master template. And then with the instance editable selected, we can customize each 
copy that we make so they're not exactly all the same. So in this case I'm just going to go ahead and drag this onto the scene because we don't have anything on there right now. And it's kind of hard to see but the text is in the is in the wrong orientation. So I know that it needs to be turned 270 degrees. So it's like that. So you can just type that number in here 270. And now it's it's facing us. It's the right so I'm just going to kind of just drag this around here and I'll drag it up here. And that'll be our first one that we'll see. And then here we can type in whatever we wanted to say. So let's say I want to say, uh, welcome to Unreal Engine. And if I hit play, you'll see there it is. I have to kind of get closer to it. Welcome to Unreal Engine. So if I hit escape, then there it is. Because I, it's so easy to click on the landscape here. I know it's called text renderer, so it's down right here. I can drag it up if I want it more in the sky. So let's say I want to say more than just that and want to create multiple copies of different things to say. The easiest way to do this is just to go press Alt and drag off of here. And then you can just create, let it go and you can just click and drag and create as many as you want. I don't want to get too carried away so I'll and let's say this one is called text render 4. I come down here and say uh, welcome to the matrix of the mind. And then I can knowing this I can push it back on the Z and I could take it up in the sky a little bit. And then I can click on another one and change the text on that and say, Hola, amigo. And I can push that back in the scene too. And push that up a little bit as well. And then I have this other one. You can just mess around with these till your heart's content. I'm just pushing it back a little bit. And this one, I can say, Como Estas. Now if I hit play, I can, I can actually, let me, let me slow the camera down here. Okay, and hit play. Then, uh, there's, welcome to Unreal Engine. Hola, Como Estas. Hello amigo, welcome to the matrix of the mind. And that's how easy it is to create text and put it around. And if you want to change it, the color, you can just go back into the blueprint and change it there. There's other ways we could change it in the details panel, but this is just a basic introduction to get started with it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.